bumped into Zaid recently. Quite the character. Given how much violence and destruction that man's seen, he's surprisingly well-adjusted. Still, I wouldn't want to be alone with them. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Samara would like to see you in observation on the crew deck. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Yes, Commander. Commander. I assume everything's going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Still hard to believe Malin betrayed me. Betrayed my work. Disgusted by his actions. Proud of his nerve, though. Always thought he lacked backbone. Shame I had to kill him. Might have made a good member of the team. Willing to get his hands dirty. You're really at peace with what happened? Yes, of course. Can't change what happened. Life continues. Back to mission, back to work. Become like Malin otherwise. Solarian emotional processing faster than other species. Has to be. Short-lived culture can't spend time reminiscing. So you really don't feel bad at all about what happened on Tachanka? Yes, correct. Now, at least. Greatly distressed at the time. Stages of grief, loss, anger, rationalization. Dealt with it. Most issues settled on Tachanka, some on shuttle back to Normandy. Malin didn't seem like he processed his emotional response. He was obsessed with the genophage. True. Didn't mean to imply that Salarians were healthier emotionally. Can still make wrong choices. Bad decisions from grief, anger, guilt. Malin couldn't accept feelings. Made decision, executed. Probably before I left for Omega. Wish I'd seen it. Solarians still feel, just resolve it quickly. Explains lack of marriage, can't sustain courtship emotions. Or perhaps based on reproduction. Unsure. What about Malin's data on the genophage? His attempts at a cure? Gone now. Could recreate, but could always have recreated. Or improved. Taught Malin everything he knows. Didn't teach him everything I knew. Not important now, regardless. Appreciate you helping me back on Tuchanka. Should get back to work. Wasted enough time already. Lots to do. Talk later. Back for another lesson. Nice ship you got here. Rumi. Last ship I worked on, two men couldn't walk past each other in the hall unless they were really good friends. I was trying to remember how many Cerberus operatives I've killed. Lost track around 50. Guess your elusive man's big on forgiveness. I should let you go. Talk more later. I've got green across the board. The forward tanks are buoyant and elevated. Are you talking about the Normandy or Miranda? I'm talking about the one that's covered in tech and not bouncing in the breeze. I don't know. Operative Lawson's uniform is very official. It always makes me stand at attention.
People are talking out there, and I hear it all. I usually travel hidden away in cargo bays. It's nice to be able to look out a window for a change. Mess Sergeant Gardner might just be an evil genius. Emphasis on the evil. The food's gotten better lately, though. I guess his reputation will take time to heal. I'm not really sure what to do with myself. Not much call for thievery aboard a ship. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. I am glad you came. I must ask for your help. That is not easy for me. What do you need? When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. Didn't you say you'd pick up her trail after our mission? I know where she is, right now. In a month, she may be gone. This is the best opportunity I've ever had. Where is she? Omega. A nightclub called Afterlife, which seems a perfect place for her to hunt. How important is this? Killing her has been my focus for 400 years. It is the most important thing in my life, and the reason I became a Justicar. Tell me about her. She is an Ardot Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds, but that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. You're dangerous too. As are you. But she is different. Morin suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain, you end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. Why isn't this ever mentioned in Asari literature or art? When we were primitive, there was much fascination with Ardot Yakshi. Some cultures worshipped them as gods of destruction. Now the Asari have a place in the galaxy, and they don't wish this defect to be widely known. As far as I know, only three exist today. Two chose a life of seclusion. The third ran. Morinth. She ran, and I am sworn to kill her. I don't know that I blame her for running. When she fled, she proved her addiction. She was not taking a great moral stand. She simply wants to keep killing. She is a tragic figure, but not a sympathetic one. So you hunt down these Asari just because they're born with a genetic condition? It manifests with maturity. When one is diagnosed, she is offered the chance to live in seclusion and comfort. If she refuses, it shows her addiction to the ecstasy she gets from killing her mates. There is no redemption for such a person. They have to choose between prison and death. It is an addictive condition. Remember how adaptive we are. If Morinth does not want to be cured, she won't be. Isn't she only deadly to the people she mates with? Each time she kills, she becomes stronger, smarter, and faster. And she's been doing this for 400 years. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this monster. She is my daughter. You said this is genetic. How many children do you have? Three. And three Ardat Yakshi are in existence today. It is as it sounds. Marinth was always the wild one. She was happy and free, but selfish. I needed to know this a long time ago. I present no danger to anyone besides my own children. And this is not easy to speak of, even 400 years after I learned it. My daughter's condition is my fault, and my redemption lies in killing her. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. I need my crew to be good at their jobs and keep their personal lives personal. I understand. Nonetheless, if there is time, I would like to go to the Afterlife nightclub on Omega. Help me find my long-lost daughter. And kill her. We'll go find Morinth.
The elusive man wishes to speak to you in the debriefing room, Commander. Change of plans, Commander. Urgent message coming in from the elusive man. Patch him in through the comm room. Passing the elusive man through, Commander. Shepard, we caught a break. I intercepted a distress call from a Torian patrol. They stumbled onto a collector ship beyond the Corliss system. The Torians were wiped out, but not before they crippled the collector vessel. I need you to board that ship and get some hard data on the collectors. Find us a way to get to their home world. Hard to imagine how a Turian patrol could take out a collector ship. Reports indicate the hull's intact, but all systems seem to be offline. They could be making repairs as we speak. I'm not saying it won't be dangerous, but we can't let an opportunity like this slip by. If they had a patrol out there, why aren't the Turians sending a recon team in? They will, eventually. But I intercepted the transmissions. In the meantime, we're feeding them false reports. You're close enough that you can be in and out before the Turians learn the truth. You sure this information's good? Information is my weapon, Shepard. It's good. Send me the coordinates and I'll take care of it. Already sent. Once you're aboard the ship, establish an uplink with Edie. She'll mine their data for information regarding the Omega-4 relay. Good luck, Shepard. Coordinates punched in. Let's go find us a collector ship. Visual on the collector ship, Commander. Very low emissions. Passive infrared temperatures suggest most systems are offline. Thrusters are cold. That thing is massive. How the hell did the Turians take it out? Ladar scans do not detect any hull breaches on the side facing us. I detect no mass effect field distortions. It appears the drive core is offline. Rendezvous in 30 seconds, Commander. Good luck. Thanks. Marking location to your hearts and computer. 